On May 15, 2012, at 4.04 a.m., uniformed police officers responded to 123 Merlin Court for a report of an injured person. A male party later identified as Richard Lemon, L-E-M-M-O-N, 50 years of Windsor, was transported to hospital. Lemon was pronounced deceased a short time later. He was uh, found uh, to be BSA at the scene, vital signs, vital signs absent at the scene, but was pronounced at the hospital. The Windsor Police Service Major Crime Unit is actively investigating this occurrence and is seeking the assistance of the public. Anyone with any information regarding this occurrence is asked to call the Windsor Police Service Major Crime Unit at 255-6700, extension 4390, or anonymously to Crime Stoppers at 258-8477, which is TIPS. This is Windsor's first homicide of the year. Um, it's being reported on the uh, online website that it is the second homicide of the year. It is, in fact, the first homicide of 2012, the last one occurring on November 24th, 2011. Uh, the victim suffered an apparent stab wound. Uh, however, uh, we have not recovered a weapon, and we are, it is an unknown weapon at this point. We have not determined is. Uh, we do not have any suspects in custody at this stage. We have received some information since the investigation has started and we are actively, actively investigating those leads. Uh, if we make any arrests sometime this evening, we will release that information to you. Uh, however, we do not have uh, much more information to go on at this time. Um, I'll try to answer any of your questions, but that's basically the information I have. Could Where you, was he stabbed? I stabbed? don't have that information. Was yeah. that the cause of death? Uh, it's believed that he uh, suffered those life threatening injuries that he lost the stab. But I don't know exactly. Do you still have officers on the scene? We do. Uh, we have uh, emergency services unit officers who are out there uh, performing a grid search, from what I understand. Uh, and there still are some officers out there. Have you spoken to the room? We have uh, interviewed a number of uh, people that were uh, uh, involved that we believe that may have been uh, witnesses or may have been involved, but I'm um, not exactly sure if it's important. We do have, we have spoken to them. Do we have any persons of interest? Uh, at this stage, uh, we have not identified anybody as a, as a suspect. Um, as far as persons of interest goes, uh, they're chasing down some leads and uh, they are receiving information at. Was it a single stab wound? That I'm not aware of. I don't know uh, how many uh, wounds this, this gentleman received. Could you be more specific as to the area of his body that the stab wound? Uh, no, I can't. I can't with the stab wound. Was there a drinking party that was going on in the evening beforehand? I don't have that information. Uh, what uh, type of activity was uh, preceding this? Uh, I understand there were uh, some people inside the, uh, inside the residence. Do you know how many? I don't. Are the residents of the trailer uh, park, I know some of us were there earlier, it seems like they're, uh, I guess, being cooperative with police and giving police uh, information and speaking to officers? We have been interviewed uh, a number of people and canvassed the area, uh, and we have received some information from you, yes. Was the deceased known to police? I am not aware of that. I, I'm not aware of uh, any of his history, if any, with us. And the search is for what? Well, the search would be for uh, a weapon of any kind or any type of evidence that uh, may be involved in this occurrence. What kind of help are you wanting specifically from the public? Well, if anybody has uh, any information uh, about the comings and goings uh, in that neighborhood at uh, any time after midnight uh, or 11 o'clock at night last night uh, until we received the call at uh, 404, uh, we'd like to have that information. Um, if anybody has any information on suspects, uh, any information on people uh, that may have been in the area, as well as the weapon. Fred, do you know who made the call? Two uh, police? I'm not sure. We were told that it was his roommate that made the call. Uh, it's entirely possible. Uh, I, I don't have that information. I do know that the call came into the emergency night on the second call. The residents of the trailer park, are they being cooperative with this investigation? To the best of my knowledge, our officers have been canvassing the neighborhood and uh, everybody seems to be uh, providing, uh, everybody, everybody is forthcoming with uh, information at this point. How many officers are there? 